China has fined Taiwanese conglomerate Far Eastern Group for problems at its Chinese factories. Two subsidiaries were fined a combined 385 million NT dollars for a host of legal violations. When addressing the crackdown, China's Taiwan Affairs Office said that businesses associated with Taiwan independence forces will not be allowed to make money in China. It called on Taiwanese businesses to, quote, make a clear distinction between right and wrong. Speaking in Taipei, a DPP lawmaker urged Taiwanese businesses to think twice before investing in China. China has fined two companies of Far Eastern Group for multiple legal violations, including environmental and occupational health issues. They've been fined a combined 385 million NT. Taiwan independence diehards themselves and their families are prohibited from entering the mainland and the Hong Kong and Macau special administrative regions. Businesses and financial sponsors associated with them will absolutely not be allowed to profit on the mainland. Earlier this month, China released a blacklist that identified Taiwan's premier, its legislative speaker, and its foreign minister as, quote, diehard separatists. It said that all associated businesses and financial sponsors would be barred from profiting in China. At a press briefing on Monday, China's Taiwan Affairs Office was asked if the fines on Far Eastern were connected to the crackdown on associated businesses. The spokeswoman replied that China will not allow profit by people who support Taiwan independence or destroy cross-strait ties. She said that Taiwanese businesses must make a distinction between right and wrong by making a clear break from separatist forces. The boss of Far Eastern, Douglas Xu, I don't know about other violations, but when it comes to these particular violations, I feel that he is quite innocent. He is a business person. In China, you don't need to have done anything wrong. If they want to kill the chickens to scare the monkey, they will do it. And every business person in China is a potential chicken. If you don't want to be a chicken that's killed to scare the monkeys, then please consider carefully whether China is a place worth traveling to and investing in. I believe that this will deter Taiwanese investment in China, as well as Taiwanese expansion in China. This is actually not good for China. Far Eastern Group has admitted its legal violations in China. It said it had already paid the penalties exacted and had launched investigations into the violations.